Right now at 4.30, CBS 2 exclusive. Chicago police officer Carlos Yanez Jr. is sharing his story in his first sit-down TV interview. He was seriously injured in a shooting during a traffic stop in Englewood more than 10 months ago that killed his partner. CBS 2's Suzanne Lemigno live for us in the Clearing neighborhood. Suzanne? Jim Marie, I'm at Brotherhood of the Fallen. It's an organization that's dedicated to helping the families of fallen officers around the nation. Now, the founder of this organization has started a podcast. It's called Served Twice by Choice. Well, Carlos Yanez Jr. is going to be among the very first guests on that podcast. And I had the opportunity to speak with him exclusively before today's taping to find out what his life is like now. Chicago police officer Carlos Yanez Jr. was shot during a traffic stop with his partner, Officer Ella French, on August 7th of last year. French died from her injuries. Not only was she beautiful on the outside, she was beautiful on the inside. Yanez was shot four times in the head and once in the shoulder. You know, all the bullets are still in me. He says he doesn't remember much about that night. Yanez would lose his right eye. His doctor told him he would never move the left side of his body. He told his doctor. I was like, I accept the challenge. This is video of Yanez dancing with his wife Brenda on St. Patrick's Day of this year after doing physical therapy three times a week along with aqua therapy since last October. I was fortunate enough that uh, you know, I never had to go to bed alone in the hospital. Every night she was there. Yanez says the support of his family, his brothers and sisters in blue, along with total strangers, has truly helped him on his road to recovery. He also says that he definitely defied the odds. The officer who was told he would never use the left side of his body now uses a walker 10 minutes at a time and a wheelchair as needed as he continues his road to recovery. In clearing, Suzanne Lemigno, CBS2 News. Suzanne, thank you for bringing us his story.